Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series, and in this video, I'm going to talk about an introduction to platformers in Usenet Engine. Number two, scrolling settings and the background. So in the previous video, I talked about the basic movements of the player, um, and that is how a player can move, jump, and fall, and also stop. Now for a platformer game, or some other games, it is important that the player can go freely at different directions, especially the horizontal directions, for a long time without having to turn around because of the boundaries. Of course, as the player moves, the settings and background need to be the same or similar so we know that the player is still in the same world. To achieve this, we will need to set up a scrolling uh, background and settings, in this, and in this video, I want to show you how to do that, and I hope you like it. So, let's continue our development on top of the code that we developed in my previous video. And before we do that, I will show you what we have from before. I have my player right here, which I can move with my A and D keys. And when I press space, I can also jump. And now I'll land, I'll be able to land on these platforms right here, and also fall off um, this bottom platform. So now let's continue on this code. First, let's add in an image as a background. Now to do this, we'll need to create an entity um, to add our image through the texture parameter. And this image should be saved in one of your folders, and in this case, it's going to be saved in my assets folder. So I'm going to create a variable called bg for background and set it equal to an entity. I'm going to set the model equal to a quad, and I'm going to scale this um, background 13 on the x-axis, 6 on the y-axis. And set the texture equal to the image that I want, and in this case, it's in my assets folder called Sky Cloud. Lastly, I'm going to set the Z position equal to 1. So now, if I save and run this, oops, let me click that, I have my player right there, and I also have a nice background. So I can move my player, I could jump, everything like normal, but with the background added. Although the player can move to the left and right, its movement is basically limited in the window. And it cannot go out of the window uh, to the left or to the right because if it does this, it will fall indefinitely and disappear. So how do we extend the settings and background so that the player can go all the way or a long distance to the left or to the right with the same or similar settings? Now this idea is simple. We just need to duplicate the settings, including the background, and connect them together. So let's do the background image first. Let's create a variable size and assign the x scale of the background to it. So set the size. I'll set it to 13. And instead of setting this scale to 13, I'll set this scale to size. The size variable, which is basically 13. And now we can duplicate the background image and connect it to the right side, right here. So I will duplicate, duplicate the background and set the x equal to the size. And if I save and run this, we can see that the background image is extended nicely to the right. Similarly, we could do this to the left side. So duplicate the background, x is equal to the negative size, which um, adds it to the left side, and now we have it to left and right. So now both sides are connected. Now the background image extension works as expected, and we're going to do the same thing for the settings, including the ground, wall, level, and ceiling. So for our wall that I have right here, or actually before that I'll do my ground, I'm going to duplicate the ground and set the x equal to the size. I'll do the same thing. So I'll copy and paste this and set this equal to the negative size. And I'll copy both of these and paste it for the wall as well. So I want to change the wall or duplicate the wall for like that. And I'll do the same thing for the level. So I'll duplicate the level like this, 
the level again. And lastly, I'll duplicate the ceiling. So change these two to ceiling. Change this to ceiling. So if I save and run this, I have my player right here. And if I move to the left, you see that um, there is a... The background is connected, but I still can't move to the left, or I can't see what's to the left. And if I do the same thing to the right, I still can't see what's to the right. So I can go up here, and I could go all the way to the right, but I can't see what's happening over there. And to solve this issue, it's pretty easy. We can adjust the position of the camera to make it further away from the settings. So I will set camera dot x equal to negative 30 and if I save and run this now I'm able to see a little bit more so now I'm on the right platform and if I try to go back I can go to my left platform but how can we follow the player as it moves so right now the player can get out of sight when it moves and um, we can add the following command line to basically have the camera follow the player. So to add that, let's remove this and write camera that add script smooth follow. And this is a function. Um, the first parameter is going to be player, which represents the target or what we want the camera to follow. We need to set an or we we're gonna set an offset to 0, 1, negative 30, and set the speed equal to 4. So if I save and run this, we'll see that wherever the player goes, the camera will follow, and even when the player jumps or falls. So basically what this line does um, is that it will allow the camera to follow the player with a speed of 4 and the offset of 0 on the x, 1 on the y, and negative 30 on the z. So if I move my player to the left, you see that the camera follows to the left. I press space, and uh, it sees. <laughs> I guess there's a little mistake right here. But if I continue to the right, now there is the same thing. So let's go back and actually change this. Close this. And for the wall, we should have it as the x is equal to size plus 5.5 and x is equal to size 5.5 minus size like that and we should also set the wall or the level excuse me equal to x plus size or 2 plus size and the other one as 2 minus size And then for the ceiling, I will set negative 2.5 plus size, and also negative 2.5 minus size. So if I save and run this again, and I try to go over here, now my level is the same. So I go to the right, I go to the right, and I have basically um, two different platforms, or three platforms in total. So now we know how to scroll our settings, but some may argue that I only extend the settings one more time to both sides, and that might not be enough. And can we extend it more? Of course we can. We just need to add a for loop to specify how many extensions we would like. For example, this is how we extend the background image two times on both sides. So to extend our background image, what I'll do is have a for loop for M in range two, which is how many times you would like to extend it. I'm going to duplicate our background um, and set the x equal to size times m plus one. And for our second duplication, I'll duplicate it again, background, and then x is equal to negative size m plus one. And let me remove these two duplicates. And so if I save and run this, 
what if I spell duplicate right? Duplicate. I save and run this. Let's see. Negative size times n plus one. I go to the left. And now that I'm over here, we see that there is another background. I go to the right. And we see that we should, ex yeah. So when we see that the background has extended two times to our left and two times to our right. And we can see that the background images are duplicated and extended further. Um, and we can also do the same thing to the other settings, including the ground, the wall, the level, and the ceilings. And you can try to do this yourself, and I'm not going to do it in the video. Of course, you can apply the same method to the vertical direction, but I'm not going to do that in this video either, but you could try it out yourself. So this is the end of this video. If you like the video or find it helpful, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments, please put it below the comment section. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.